Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Castle Ghetto. Today I'm at Balverde Castle. Balverde is a fine, complete example of a late medieval tower house castle. It sits on a hilltop overlooking the A912, around 5 kilometres south of Abernethy. The name Balverd is from Balabard, meaning Township of the Bard in Gaelic. Balverd is first mentioned in the written historical record in 1498 as the place of Balward in the Register of the Great Seal of Scotland. The castle was built around 1495 by Sir Andrew Murray of Tully Barden. He had acquired the land through marriage to the heiress Margaret Barclay, the daughter of James Barclay of Kippo, and was most likely built on the site of an earlier Barclay family castle. Over many years the castle was altered and extended to include features such as a gatehouse built around 1567 and an outer courtyard which was attached to the main gate. This may possibly have contained stables. There was another courtyard or garden to the south and a larger walled area at the northeast, which was an orchard. You can see a walkway around the main block at the roof level and a higher lookout tower this would have given extensive views over the surrounding countryside. The Murray family resided at Balverde until they were elevated to the Viscountcy of Stormont in 1641. The Murray family moved to Schoon Palace in Perth in 1658 as this was rather more comfortable and suiting to their peerage. After the Murray family moved out, the castle was used to house farm workers, although the Murray family continued to own Balverde Castle until 2017. It's now currently owned by the American entrepreneur Brady Brim de Forest. Balverde Castle isn't overrun by visitors, even on a busy day. Catch Balverde when it's open and you can appreciate the tower house to the full, as well as the rest of the castle and its surroundings. But at other times, although you can only tour the exterior, you have every chance of having this remote and beautiful castle all to yourself. The site is open all year round, however, the interior has been closed for several years as a safety precaution 
because of structural deterioration. The castle is a structural monument and is now in the care of and maintained by Historic Environment Scotland. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!